So this video is how to avoid short circuits or basically how to not set stuff on fire. So I'm going to take a battery and a bulb as well. So to make the bulb light, I've got to make sure that there's a circuit. A circuit means it's connected at both ends, at both the plus and the minus of the battery, and also uh, the plus and the minus of whatever I'm connecting up. So the bulb in this case, see that works. Okay, it's got to go around in a circle or a circuit. If I have two bulbs, you notice it kind of slows down a little bit. And the electrons that make electricity, it takes more of an effort to get through two things, so I can actually slow them down there. If it make it too easy for them, it literally cause a fire. There'd be such a current, a flurry of electrons, it'll melt something. So we use a resistor or a bulb or something to slow the things down. There's a resistor in this circuit, and that's just a thin piece of metal that can slow the electrons down. I can make a short circuit here by making a really easy bypass, and they can skip the whole circuit and they'll go on fire again, because it'll be so easy for them. I can do it another way. Here's a really easy shortcut or a short circuit over the battery. If you short a battery, it's going to melt. You can measure the flow of electrons, the current, with an ammeter. There it is in white. And you can see if I make it harder for the electrons to go through a bigger resistor, uh, everything slows down. The current slows down and uh, your bulbs won't be as bright and um, there won't be as much current. And if I make it really, 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 really easy, it's like a tiny resistance, they'll fly around again and melt the resistor, the battery, the whole thing. That's similar to a short circuit. Okay. If I put a paper clip across a battery, the same thing, because a paper clip is a metal and it's a conductor. Most metals are conductors. All the electrons will be like, hey, through the metal we go, never mind the circuit, that's too hard. What about a penny? If I put that in there, same kind of thing. Well, it's a metal, it's a conductor, it's going to short the circuit. They're going to skip the whole circuit and go to the easiest way. If I took something that's not a conductor, not a metal, like a rubber, a rubber is an insulator. So in this case, they look at the rubber and go, oh, so much effort, I'd rather just go through the wire. And that won't cause a fire. There's no resistance. All the electrons are going to run through that wire and it's going to get really, really hot. Now, this sparked because I put a capacitor to make it look cool. Now, your circuit isn't going to spark like that, but what will happen is it will quickly get hotter and hotter and hotter in the event of a short circuit. And you'll smell, probably the first thing you'll notice is this kind of weird burning PCB smell. You'll never forget it once you smell it once. You may see smoke and any of these signs you immediately need to pull the power. Okay, be very careful. The wires may be extremely hot in the event of a short circuit, like red hot, as in we'll cut through things super, super hot. When in doubt, pull out the plug. Don't touch the wires. So in summary, you want to not connect a wire across a battery. The wires go into something and not from one side of the battery or the other. That's going to make a short circuit. Two, do not let anything hit the circuit board that's metal or like water. They can accidentally short it or make it easy for the electrons to skip from one side of the battery or the other and ignore your whole circuit. And number three, if you smell burning, or if you smell anything funny, or if you see smoke, pull the plug immediately and it'll be grand. Okay, that's it.